What's up, everybody? Welcome to IGN oh, Games. Sorry, Fire we have to restart. I put the can down. Sorry. Brandon. <laughs> sorry, man. Don't make me regret this. <laughs> Brought to you by Red Bull. Again. What's up, everybody? Welcome to IGN Game Scoop. I'm your host, Damon Hatfield. Joining me this week, Justin Davis, Scoop. Brandon Tyrell, Scoop. Brian Altano. <laughs> We've got a great show for you this day. We're, today, we're going to talk about Resident Evil. We're going to talk about E3. Mm -hmm. But first, Whoa. Nintendo mm -hmm. has yes. a new console coming out, mm -hmm. codenamed the NX. Yeah. The next. Everyone wants to know about it. Everyone wants to know what it is. What it be. What, Everyone is what hoping. What it do. <laughs> Where it at? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us are hoping it's just like you don't need anything fancy. Yeah. Just make a box yeah. that can output some nice graphics and give me a, a, a regular controller and just let me play some Nintendo games. Yeah. I think the real question is what, what is it? It's what isn't it? Mm. Well. <laughs> This week, Nintendo said the most frightening thing yeah. possible. The scariest thing Nintendo could have said. They said, NX is a new way yep. of playing games. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> there it is. we're going to put it right ah, in your ear. Like, <laughs> I mean, so, I'm, I'm uh, cautiously optimistic about this, like I am with all of their stuff. I will be, too. Uh, but it reminds me a lot of, so, like, I cook a lot at home, mm. and uh, I do, like, I, I'm, I'm very good at, like, very basic recipes that I'll then add like a little sort of twist to because I went to art school and I don't know how to not do that. Toast. Yeah. And then cinnamon toast. With yeah. cumin. With <laughs> jalapenos, yeah. So but like I'll be cooking something and I'll, I'll be like, I think I'm going to do like a drizzle of honey on this. And my wife's like, why? And I'm like, because like, you know, try something different. She's yeah. like, just use olive oil and salt and pepper. It'll taste great and everyone will love it. <laughs> and I'm like... But I want to try something new, and she's but like, it's a "Don't new way. just do what always has worked for years." And then well, she's like, "Eternity for the <laughs> thousand eternity. years." And I'm like, "You know what? You're right." And it's it's basically exactly where they are right now. Where every single time they're like, "We have an idea. Don't, don't just don't. No. Just like you said, just make call. Here's an idea. But they're, use your phone and call every third party you know and be like." Here's our console. It's as powerful as the other ones, mm -hmm. but it has this guy on it. Yeah. Or girl. Doesn't matter. He's point sure. pointing to Link. To Link. Linkle. And just put all that stuff out there and just give it in one place and make it so I can play all my favorite the Mario and Zelda games. And they're chasing that dragon, though. They yeah. sold over 100 million Wii consoles. I know. And they need another hit of that business. But so, that's yeah. never going to happen they, again. They, yeah. were on the, they were on like the Today Show yep. and nursing homes and hardcore gamers and softcore gamers and, oh, man. They're still in nursing homes, probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably, there's probably people in retirement homes playing Wii Bowling right now. Yeah, all but it's, day. It's, it's like when you see like a, like a famous musician puts out a, a, a hit song, and yeah. then like seven years later, they're doing VH1 reality shows. Yeah, and like, then they make a sequel to that and they're song. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they make a sequel to that song, and they're trying to they're clawing back to the top. It doesn't work. There's a sequel to Baby Got Back. It's like when... Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is, it, is it an actual sequel, or are you talking about Pumps in a Bump? Oh, in a bump. well, it's called Put Them on the Glass. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how much more we uh, talk about it right now. I don't think that's a sequel. It, I mean, Is that part of the a, same it's cinematic a, it's universe? A, it's, it's a spiritual successor. It's a spiritual successor. Part of the Baby Got Back cinematic <laughs> universe. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like when Garth Brooks was like, "I'm not a country singer anymore. Yeah. I'm alt rocker yep. Chris Gaines." <laughs> I remember that, and he had that emo hair yeah. and everything. That that was and great. I was like, "No, you've written all the like these." These platinum selling country yep. hits, that's what you do. Yep. The what ego. You know. <laughs> How dare you? The pure, just, uh, I don't even know what to call it. What makes someone think they can get away with something like that? Well, I mean, Nintendo did once, but. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I mean, to well, be fair, they, they have a couple of times. I mean, the 3DS uh, mm -hmm. was a success, the DS is a success, the, mm -hmm. uh, the Wii was, you know. A smash hit. I don't know right? if it, yeah, for sure. And I don't know if it revolutionized the way we play video games, but it got a lot of people interested for the first time. But. There are just as many weird diagonals they've taken off the, the yeah. regular path uh, that have not turned out well. And like you look at the Wii U, they double down on this idea of instead of having everyone in the room play video games together, that you're going to be in this self-contained box in front of your face. But we all had iPads by then, mm -hmm. you know, and we all had ta we had phones and stuff. So Our first focus group tells us that kids like to look at screens in yeah. front of their face. So yeah. let's do that for a game console. Yeah, I, I mean that all of that all of that was baffling. It's also like people. Pe People feel burned by that console. I mean, the people, Wii U. Yeah. yeah, people spent a couple hundred bucks on something that had a, a handful of games and then uh, was completely abandoned. And yeah, now they're we're teetering so on the brink, man. They're like Sega. It's like Sega yeah. had that Sega Saturn and they had that 32X. Yeah, it's like if you're a major video game hardware manufacturer, you're kind of you're not really allowed too many goofs. No, yeah, you get no. one. You get yeah, one like, goof, and then if you, you got to bring it back, the margin two, for error in that yeah. business is real yeah. small. Two goofs and you're out. Is that it? Is it two goofs? Yeah. 
Two goofs and a spoof. Well, what, ha <laughs> what happened with the Dreamcast, though? Because that was... Yeah, then they were out. <laughs> Oh, I like I like the Dreamcast. Yeah, you me liked too. It, yeah, no, that was totally I good. It. I mean, I like I, I, I love a lot of stuff on Wii U. I had a lot of yeah. great, yeah. like a lot of great times playing games on that got console. That Smash Brothers. Yeah, Pikmin, Mario Kart is Mario Kart's great, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You know, Wind Waker HD is really cool. Uh, we never got a, a Metroid, an F Zero, an Animal yeah. Crossing. Uh, there's so many games in major franchises that just never happened there. Make F Zero great again. But would yeah. all of those games had come to you know a more traditional console had Nintendo decided to go that direction? Um. Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think like I, they're they're very good at what they do when they when they actually get in there and do it. Yeah. You know, but the, like the, when they get in their groove. Yeah, when they get in their yeah. groove, everything's going well. And I think it's you know the the problem is that the the console didn't sell enough. It was this weird stopgap between systems in terms of power, mm -hmm. uh, which is very difficult to port things to. Like it, it was it was one thing when the Wii was so hard to avoid that you saw stuff like you know that Dead Rising uh, on rail shooter yeah. and yeah. <laughs> or no, what, what, it was dead, dead, dead Space. space. Yeah, dead space. Yeah. But there was also a Dead Rising space. game that where they're like it had like was, four zombies on screen. Which at the had time. come to Xbox 360 like three years earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean there's you get this stuff where it's like, oh this thing's so big we can't avoid it. But now there's mobile for, for stuff yeah. like that. I mean, that completely took the wind out of a lot of their sales in terms of that whole blue ocean strategy. Uh, and that's where people are playing games. And if they're smart, they'll start putting more and more games on mobile, which they're it looks like they're doing. But they need parity with the other consoles right now. Even the, look at the Xbox One. It's neck and neck with the PS4 in terms of power, mm -hmm. uh, and it's selling worse than the GameCube did. No, that's not true. Uh, the Xbox One often gets a hard rap because uh, the PS4 is not selling it so much, but the Xbox One's selling faster than the 360 did at this point in its life. Interesting. Um, it is, I mean, to, to be clear, there's like I think there's twice as many yeah. PS4s sold as Xbox Ones, but like yeah. all other things being equal, the Xbox One's doing okay. But, the but your point's taken about them needing to compete on power. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's what you were driving at. And that's that's what I was going to say is Nintendo, is it stupid of them to try to invent a new way to play and sell people on a new way to play? Like, I don't know, maybe, but they kind of don't have a choice. Yeah. Like, their box is never, they're never going to lead on power. Nintendo's always going to be behind on power. But they didn't know? used to be is the, like, the problem. I mean, kind of, ever since, I mean, we got we got into this on Scoop a few weeks ago. Um, like, ever since the N64 generation, in a lot of ways, yeah. they were kind of behind on power. Like, you know, they were ahead in power in uh, the NES and yeah. Super NES, and it wasn't until man, I don't know, like the, the, the Genesis. Genesis. Well, whatever. The, I mean, the specs on um, Super, NES, Super NES specs were. were it also Genesis. didn't really matter back then. Yeah, Even without blast process. Yeah, I mean, if you look at historically <laughs> some of the best-selling consoles of all time until this generation, really, uh, weren't the most powerful. Right. You know, the PS4 is the most powerful of, of the three, but um, last time around it was the Wii. And the time before that, it was the what the PS2, yeah. which was like woefully underpowered compared to the others. But it didn't matter because it had great games. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, when you, I like what you said about Nintendo being in a groove, and that's sort of where they do their best, you know, ideation, yeah. or creation, or whatnot. And you know, they're very, very clearly on the back foot right now. And coming into a new console with the NX, what worries me the most is that they have their niche audience. They always have. They always have the people who love Nintendo, right? Like yourself included. Um, now they need to re like recapture that core audience, yeah. and everything we're hearing about the NX, like, does it you know interface with mobile phones? Does it use cartridges? Are they dropping CDs? Is it ROM based? Right? Is it going to have its own online component? It feels like sort of like they missed that core audience so much with the Wii U that mm -hmm. now they're just every single spice on the shelf rack, right? They're like, right. all right, well, we need the core audience. Now we need the online component and, you know, uh, handhelds and mobile phones. And it's all going into this They're big grabbing thing. that honey. <laughs> and I have no idea what this toast is going to look like at the end of it, you know? And so, you know, you don't need all that stuff on toast. But yeah. it's also, if you look at, like, um, the last, look at the last five years, that some of the biggest games that have happened uh, have all almost completely, entirely skipped Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. All those conversations, I mean, they got Minecraft eventually, and that new Mario stuff looks gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, stuff like GTA, Angry Birds, GTA 5, yeah. League of Legends, like pretty Fallout much everything. 4. It's, Fallout true, 4, it's everything. true you don't need all that stuff on toast, but you can't just sell people toast because they already have toast. Right. What right. are you talking about? Well, so that's in this, in this analogy, the no toast one? is the PS4 and yeah. Xbox One, right. and I don't okay, need yeah. a third piece of toast except in my entertainment. No. So I know yeah. people say that. I know people say that, except. Nintendo was the original toast. Yeah. yeah. So I would rather see Nintendo reclaim the toast, force one of the other guys to start doing something different. <laughs> That's the yeah. difference. But back in the day, the toast is what people bought. Now people are buying the Damn butter. Toast. People want the butter, and and the They're butter buying, and people are missing. People are not hey, buying. What's it. the butter? The butter is the software. Okay. <laughs> people are not buying butter for Nintendo's toast. 
So now Nintendo, Nintendo needs to make a piece of toast that they can sell butter on as well, yes. right? They need yes. their Call of Duty butter. They need yeah. their GTA butter. But you also need a really good quality toast, like a nice thick cut of good quality some toast. Some Texas made toast, yeah. maybe a little seasoning on it. Yeah. yeah, Texas toast is awesome. It is really good. It's thick. It's like thick garlic bread. It's a good time to be alive. I mean, nin <laughs> nin Nintendo has doubled down on their market so much that I feel like they've kind of alienated the core audience, yeah. right? Well, for sure. Well, yeah. they're also not building a new, they're not building Tomorrow's uh, retro fans, basically. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. in in 15 years, uh, Angry Birds is going to be retro to people. Yeah. Minecraft is going to be yeah. retro to people. Mario is not. My 10 year old know? nephew is not a Zelda or Mario fan. Nope. Mm -hmm. But we he, are. But he loves Flappy Bird. He, yeah. And uh, Angry Birds and Minecraft. Yeah, he loves them. Yeah. Nintendo, if they play their cards right, I absolutely think they're primed for a, a you know a turnaround, a, you know, a sort of a second or third or whatever number of renaissance. They could sort of position position themselves as a Disney. You know, Nintendo isn't. A special place where you know grown-up gamers care so much about that stuff like Zelda is really important to me yeah. and so is Mario and so like they already if they do it right they already have the 30 and 40 year olds and they just need to you know take I don't exactly know how they execute on it but just try to become a Disney and like this is what works for the young kids and this is what works mm -hmm. for the adults you know and and they have Star Wars and Marvel over here and then they have Disney princesses and um, you know all their cartoons over here and like Nintendo could be that but uh, like I said they're yeah. they're walking that like <laughs> Razor's Edge right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you talk about be a Disney. Do you think superhero movies would have taken off if if parents hadn't like sold their kids? Yeah, it's like they appeal to both the parents and the kids. Right? Yeah. I think it's a big part of it. It's and nostalgia. Like it's it, cyclical. Yeah. yeah, they have that ability. I mean, Nintendo. That's why Star Wars is still a thing. Yeah, there was yeah, just exactly. a there was a quote a couple days ago um, about Nintendo getting you know getting into movies in the next two or three years, mm -hmm. and then there's that stuff about the theme parks, and mm -hmm. they have. There's a lot of like, you know, uh, what do they call it? Like things in the irons in the fire or yeah, whatever. Nope. There's a lot they of things like that. And I think that like the, the eventually the game console part of it might be just yeah. a tiny fraction of the of Skillets the in the millet. Yeah. <laughs> Toast in the toaster. <laughs> I was going to say that. I was like, don't derail. Don't derail. <laughs> well, we continue to wait and see what the NX is. Uh, Nintendo says it is neither the it is neither the successor to the Wii U nor to the 3DS. Which and is, which and, is and it won't be at E3, right? And not going to be at E3. Mm -hmm. Only only that guy or gal is going to be at E3. Yep. Yeah. It's Link. It's pointing to Link. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of E3, hey. it's coming up. Mm -hmm. hey. Brandon's doing a lot of our E3 planning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How's that uh, going? I just want to sleep forever. <laughs> you, you still have like a long ways to I go. I know. Yeah. It's like, yeah. So we're starting to hear all sorts of crazy rumors Ooh. about E3. Like what, Damon? Uh, like how about a new Resident Evil? Whew. Yeah. That may be a Resident Evil 7 or maybe an entirely just sort of reboot of the a whole reboot. franchise. Going back to its roots. Yeah, the rumor is going back to its proper survival. Resident order. Roots. The franchise has been becoming more and more action-oriented ever since 4, which yep. was good for a while and then maybe not so good. Well, 4 was the best and then it went 5, then 6. Yeah, right? exactly. I, I mean, it's it, like, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. And yeah. now, they're, now they're looking for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, Survival people, people really liked it. I never got around to playing it. It's still sort of on my list, but I never. Uh, Evil Within was supposed to be pretty good, right? Uh, yeah. Like that it, was yeah. more Resident was Evil Bethesda's. style the or one? traditional yeah, Survival Yeah, it's, it's a weird one. It's 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 like part Resident Evil Four, right. and then it just veers in so, so many different directions. Okay. I finished it. It's uh, I had a good time with it, even though I don't. I still don't know exactly. Why or yeah. what happened during yeah. any of it? There was okay. some evil. That's yeah. just no, that's, within. That's it was within. Life is what you're describing. <laughs> it was like third person, sort of over the shoulder. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Caleb Lawson may his soul rest in peace. I yeah. was a big fan right. of that game. He's, st he's totally still alive. Uh, he, was, he was here <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> the rumors are this new Resident Evil will be announced at E3, returns to the series roots. Uh, the team is reported to have hired a guy mm. that worked on Metal Gear Solid Five oh. and PT. It w was it just a guy, or uh, was it the uh, important guy? No, well, like I mean, the, one of the one of the main like one of the main. As guys. we're okay, seeing right. those, uh, you know, Konami uh, refocus on mobile. There's a lot of really talented Japanese game devs that a lot of them are going to Kojima's new thing, mm -hmm. but others are scattering, you know, around to companies like yeah. Capcom. And more evidence. Capcom announced yesterday it is planning to launch a major title by March 2017. Ooh. No, not too surprising for a big publisher. Yeah, I mean, and this year is the 20th anniversary yeah. of Resident Evil. And they, they had already said, like, prepare for the total blitzkrieg of, you know, Resident Evil this year, right? Like, they released yeah. Umbrella Corps. Mm -hmm. uh, Corp. Now they have Corp. Now they have the uh, the. the well, new when you said Evil. they released it, or, or it they, hasn't come out yet. No, no, no. Soon. They they yeah, released information about okay. it and all that. Uh, and then the new Resident Evil's coming out, and I'm sure you're probably going to see some some retro stuff. So yeah. 
Lots of Resident Evil this year for the. the yeah, all the all they're they're porting uh, six, five, and four backwards. Basically, they put <laughs> yeah. out six, and then they're doing five, and then doing yeah, four. They have to do it well, in that order, otherwise, no one would care by the time they get I, to I six. Think you're, totally, you're totally right. <laughs> Except they already did the first. They re-released the first remake. Right. Yeah. And then they did zero. Yeah. Yeah. Zero. So zero sold close to a million copies. Which zero is did like, well. Really? What about two and three though? They're just like. Eh. I mean, yeah, I think two. I guess because they never remade any of those yeah. in high def. Two, two and three. Yeah, not high yet. Def, two yeah. and three would be a huge, two, that would be a yeah. huge thing to to. Because those are undertake. PlayStation yeah, I mean, three, games. Yeah. So three's not very good, and six isn't very good. Zero is like, so, so what, it's, what the epiphany that I'm having right now is I don't think there's any other like AAA franchise that like only half those games are good. Well, two, like, was, res- two was great. Code Veronica was great. Yeah, yeah I like Veronica? a lot of Code Veronica. I, mean, I liked it. It's like, a, it's like a 7 out of 10 good. I don't think it's like a fantastic, incredible video game. I mean, re- I Remake it. is awesome. Remake's two is good. Hell. Four or two is, two is great. Four is uh, one of the best games ever. I made. actually liked some of three, but it didn't. It didn't really feel like a, a sequel to me. Which like one? It, it kind of felt What's like Nemesis. Nemesis three. Yeah. It yeah. kind of felt like when you uh, <clears throat> change your name to Link in the original Zelda and play a weird remix version of the game. Like <laughs> yeah. it's just a lot of the same assets and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, those those games would be way harder to to redo. And people have been asking for them for so long that uh, you'd totally have to get that right. Mm, That's not yeah. something you can just put out in in widescreen or whatever. All I just want is Resident Evil remake two. Which was, which is pretty much zero, to be fair. But yeah, uh, again, yeah. so I want the pre-rendered backgrounds we'll and yeah. like maybe that's ex- what. Wait, do you think they would go as far to use pre-rendered backgrounds in mm-hmm. her? No, and I actually like, don't. That know. Even, is that relevant? As today? the words yeah. were coming out of my mouth, I'm like, I don't know that I really want <laughs> the pre-rendered background. I just want that feel back. Yeah. Like it was uh, almost Metroidvania esque in terms of unlocking parts yeah. of uh, a single environment and uh, you know backtracking, but not in an annoying way and in a smart way as you sort of uncovered more of the central yeah. mystery the, and the simultaneous storytelling yeah. was always a huge draw for me. Like you play as Leon first, and then you bump over to Claire, and you're like, oh, that's where I dropped that ladder is Leon. You yeah. Know? yeah. Or yep. then you you're Ada in the in the sewers. Or just whatever. the yep. mood, like that's what I remember most about that. It's just the atmosphere and atmospheric storytelling, and that was. Unrivaled. I want I want all those characters gone. I don't want to ever. I mean, you want new characters. Yeah, they were great. They were wonderful. I never want to hear from any of them again. But what about Albert Wesker? And oh, his, for his 80th time, yeah, yeah. getting killed by a but boulder he, or a helicopter or, or a bazooka, again. falling into yeah. lava. I mean, that's right, top ten ways Albert Wesker is done. Yeah, get on it. <laughs> the cheesy, the cheesy like voice acting and stuff like that. I think it's campy and it's wonderful, and I'm glad we had it for so long. But like, start something new. You know, mm. go. There's so many. So don't you don't even want to go back to that same mansion? No, I mean you could do a mansion if like, you if you want. But like, let's get away from like the the Raccoon weird city and all that. Yeah, or? stuff like that's cool. Like, I mean, let's get away from like the lion key and putting the <laughs> the cat's eye into the clock no, to open something, the door. But Brian, like, there's something shiny over in the corner over there. <laughs> Oh, it's just a green herb. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you look at horror games now, and that's why the PT thing, the connection there is, yeah. is really exciting. So you look at a lot of horror games now, uh, they're completely different in the way they're positioned uh, against something like Resident Evil, which is is totally like 1960s, campy, schlocky yeah. kind of. Like, I, I, lo- I love that stuff at the time, but uh, it doesn't really work anymore. you got to go straight up hard now, so I'm excited for that. you believe in ghosts in real life? No, not really. Me neither. <laughs> I think when something dies, it just that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, if we think about, it, is kind of the sadder the two options. Yeah. But I, I will say, I am bold scoop. enough. I am bold enough to say I don't know. <laughs> one, <laughs> Maybe. one third of people believe in ghosts, which seems crazy a to third? me. Third? Whoa, but. Don't most people believe in an, like heaven, like some sort of afterlife? No, no. Like, I mean, do we really? So how much like, of this do we want to get into? I'm just <laughs> saying, if if you if that's a fact, is it really surprising that people believe in ghosts? Yeah, I just couldn't like. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe they're a real thing. And it just blew me away that I'm like, wait, r- that many people think that that's a real thing that exists on this earth? Well, heaven heaven's kind of like a a, a party of ghosts. It's right. a ghost party. Right. Ghost party. Right. It's a ghost party, basically. When Lincoln's there and Jimmy Hendrix, this, and this, you can eat whatever you want and not get fat. This nation's major religion is based around the idea of a ghost. No, yeah. not ghosts. The Holy Ghost. Ghost. It's a zombie. Yeah, but that's a but. figure of it's. That's an expression. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Right. Kind of depends on which, which aspect you're coming from, right? Viewers, listeners, do you believe in ghosts? Do you have any ghost <laughs> stories? Email them to us at GameScoop. Send us your ghosts. <laughs> at no. Don't send us your ghosts. <laughs> you open the pack. Uh, don't need your ghosts. Was it, did it come out? I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of E3 and uh, E3 rumors, I wonder if we have our own E3 predictions mm. that may be just crazy enough to no, just what would be your craziest C3 prediction that you would love to ha- see happen that you would know would never happen? 
My image just popped up. <laughs> well, uh... I'll go first. <laughs> Here's my E3 prediction. Capcom, unsatisfied uh -huh. with the way Street Fighter V sold, will relaunch the game and rebrand, reskin the whole thing as a new rival schools, Ooh. calling it Fival Schools, <laughs> bringing the series back, and as a bonus, it's going to be, include Fival from An American Tale, yeah. a playable character. And it's going to go west. <laughs> it will come west. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You heard it here first. That's great. I can't beat that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, you, you were given homework. Yeah. Brandon did his That's homework. I, Brandon, uh, do you want to go? I also didn't do my homework in school. No, uh, my prediction is uh, an Apple game console. An Apple game console. Very sleek and sexy, something that you'd like to look at aesthetically on your just in your entertainment center. Uh, I don't even think it plays physical, physical discs. I think it's mm -hmm. digital only. Just give me a box that's got a big hard drive. And a controller. You're describing well, an Apple TV right now. Well, yeah, yeah, they released this at E3 during like the PS4 conference. This is what I, was, I wanted to unpack this. When is this being announced? Oh, so you have a problem with that and not twice <laughs> appearing in a relaunch Resident Evil 5 or uh, Street Fighter 5? Yeah. Five will go as the best. No, I think all you really need is uh, <laughs> just a controller, a controller that feels great, a range of high-end AAA games and, you know, smaller, tiny, you know, $1, $2, $3 games. From and, Apple. Yeah, from Apple. Mm. Why not? I mean, that's actually fairly likely. Mm. I mean, it, or it, it, it's, it's eventually. plausible. Yeah, plausible eventually. to say that, yeah. <laughs> On the plausibility scale, we're not at a, we're not at a one out of 10. No, not like One that. Chewbacca Roy is out of 10. Fival schools. I, I really like Fival that. Fival schools. Uh, my prediction is that uh, since Nintendo only has Zelda at E3, something will leak and it'll be a realistic Mario game. Starring, realistic. Starring a real man. <laughs> Gritty reboot. <laughs> with a, just a disgusting mustache and he goes around and he eats, he eats garbage and he fights living monster creatures. He's just, he's just stomping on turtles and it's horrible. It's, it's horrible. It's awful. And real and gross and Troy Baker does the voice. Yeah. Most of the characters. No, no, no. I like it. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, Harry Crane from Mad Men. It's the guy from uh, Firewatch. Ooh, that's really good. Firewatch oh, Two. I like that a lot. Firewatch mm -hmm. Two is Mario Galaxy. And he's 3. walking around and he's like these disgusting turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I hate awful. mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> so a, a realistic gritty reboot. Yeah. Of Mario Brothers. What's yeah. the name? Is it just Super Mario Brothers again? <laughs> Super real Mario. <laughs> <laughs> he's fighting a dinosaur at the end. You're like, what are you? It's a biological miracle. What are you doing? Yeah. Bowser's just like just Help beating me. the. <laughs> <laughs> Peach has all these tattoos. She's addicted to drugs. God. Addicted to drugs. Yeah. Addic all of addicted to mushrooms. <laughs> is um, she a real princess? Is she like Swedish or something? No, she just has a t-shirt with a crown on it. <laughs> like, I, I like that's where the princesses come from. <laughs> I'm trying to think of where I know the real princesses exist, and I think it's Sweden is one of the places. So, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, the Netherlands. There's a England. lot of, a lot well, of those. I, my mind went to Sweden. Okay. <laughs> because of Kingsman the Secret Service. That's why. Mm, Scandinavian, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, the easy one, Half-Life 3. Mm -hmm. So, there you go, mic drop. Yeah, that one's not going to happen. No, it's, it's, you know why it's not going to happen? Because... The game doesn't exist. <laughs> no, because somebody was telling me yesterday about how much money Valve is making a day just selling, like, Hats. lottery tickets in, in, in their games oh, now. Oh, yeah, 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 the like, Battle Pass or something. Battle yeah. Pass. Is, is like, that League or is that Dota? Dota. I, it's, it's Dota, Dota yeah. yeah. They're making like they, like twenty million dollars a day, and they're a like, why, "Why would you ever make another video game again? Just yeah. do that. You're good." Yeah. No, my my real one. Justin kind of kind of took it with the console idea, oh, but man. my real one was uh, what what does a publisher do when they basically eclipsed everything else? Right? You mm -hmm. have Activision Blizzard. They make more money than they know what to do with. They're opening up a movie studio. And we're going to see the. Uh, uh, what, the Angry Birds movie is already is already. Uh, That's not I think it already not, came not, and went. Actually, was, was it Angry Birds? What are you talking about? What's, what's the uh, the cinematic universe that they're Activision's opening? making Call of the, the yes, Call of Duty? the Call of Duty, yeah. and then they're doing another one. Uh, Warcraft. Was, well, no, it's uh, there is that Warcraft movie coming out. That's not from the the same. Um, yeah, I don't know. Studio though. Anyway, they're opening up a movie division. They're doing all this other stuff and diversifying. I mean, it New would, Horizons. It would make sense to. Uh, it Activision, actually wouldn't make sense at all, but getting into the console game. An Activision console. Mm-hmm. Activision Blizzard console. Mm. Like, uh, Diablo Reaper of Souls was the first time Blizzard went into the console. Now they're coming out with Overwatch, so Blizzard's dabbling in the console. Activision's got a ton of money to burn. It would make sense to make one and then have this massive first party with all these amazing exclusives from Activision and Blizzard. It would never happen, but I wonder if there's one company that, uh, like, their games are so, like, they just said, look, we're making a console. If there's any game or franchise that the only way to play this is by buying our box. Like mm -hmm. Call of Duty. Like, Call yeah. of Duty doesn't come to the PS4 or Xbox One anymore. There's just a box that you have to buy. Like, how many of those I mean, would they yeah. sell? They, they have Call of Duty. They also have uh, Diablo. 
Diablo. Yeah. Call Des- the only Des- way to, Destiny. The only Skylander, way to play Destiny, yeah, Call Destiny. of Duty, and Skylanders and World of Warcraft and Diablo is on this specific box. It can there was a there was a rumor for a while a couple years ago that there'd be an EA console, and I remember being like, "That's insane." Mm-hmm. But I think back then it probably would have made a little bit of sense. Yeah. No, it still would have been. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> EA's got the annualized portfolio, right? With Madden and FIFA and NHL yeah. and golf. That's true. All EA Sports is another example of a, of a label that can maybe pull it off. <clears throat> the problem is, is like, consoles are the loss leader, right? Like, the software is what sells, and like that's where they make that's where you make your money back. And there's no reason why a publisher who has diversified across PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, PC, what have you, there's no reason that they would make a console and then just like put up a walled garden. Like you're just cutting yeah. off, you're cutting off this big stream of money that's just going into your big, well, your Ninten- big sack. Nintendo actually sells uh, their hardware at a profit, which is pretty rare. Hmm. Um, but they, then they don't sell. I think a that lot might of be it. happening with all the consoles this generation. But yeah, still, I mean, either way, you make the bulk of your money off of software. Yeah, yeah and peripherals. That's why I just don't ever see a third-party publisher no. getting into the hardware game. No. What would the name of the Activision console be? So I, th- I, I actually the I actually, A station. Did, mm, that's not bad. The Blizzbox. Activate. Maybe? Blizzbox. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Blizzbox. I like that. The Ice Cube. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and your your yep. rep is Ice Cube. <laughs> sure. That's a great idea. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't been in an Are We There Yet in a while. Yeah, so that's true. <laughs> he's probably looking. He for, needs another one of those films. Probably looking it's for free. something. The Ice Cube Cinematic. Universe. I'll work on this, but uh, yeah, work on it. Send, send, <laughs> us, send us send us your names of an Activision Blizzard console. Please don't. Yeah, and your ghost. <laughs> to Justin, not your ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Care we're going to get a lot of empty boxes and be like, oh, God, was there a ghost in there? <laughs> we don't know. Because <laughs> you can't see them. I think I can, can definitively say the answer is no. <laughs> All right, looking a little past E3, uh, we now have confirmation that Batman, the Return to Arkham collection, mm-hmm. is real. Mm-hmm. Real thing, combining uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Into one package. Hmm. Poor Arkham uh, Knight. Or, Knight. Or, yeah. And Origins. Knight. And Origins. Origins is what yeah. I was thinking of. I think that's cool. Like we said before, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing Asylum again. Mm-hmm. But I want to share a little anecdote mm-hmm. with everyone. Every time my, my PlayStation 4 is full. Yeah, me too. I have no more space. Every time I want to play a new game, I have to like delete stuff every mm-hmm. single time. So like when I want to load up Uncharted 4, I have to go through mm-hmm. it. All right, what can I delete? Delete And always, the biggest file on my PS4 at the very top, every single time, is Arkham Knight. Mm. And I have this internal yep. struggle like, I haven't finished it yet. Do I delete it? Am I ever, am I ever going to finish it's it? It's given no. up. If you hit the yeah. delete button, you're given up. If you I, know, am I ever going to finish it? No, I want don't. to. <laughs> I, think I, w- I think I will, but will I ever? Are you, you're not going to go back for those Riddler trophies, I are mean, you? <laughs> that, I would free up a lot of space. Yeah. If I would just get yeah. rid of Arkham Knight, I could I feel the same way. My hard drives are full of games that, if, in, my, in my heart, I know that I'm done with them, but yeah. my brain's not caught up to what my heart feels yet. Like, I have Metal Gear Solid taking up a bunch of gigabytes. I have uh, uh, I have. Actually Actually, Arkham Knight. Yeah. Uh, I had. I mean, it's just full of them. I'm in the exact same boat as you. You know that show I mean, Hoarders? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You can do that digitally. Yeah. Like that's a thing sure. a lot of people don't really realize. Like I, I actually feel really. I do like a spring cleaning in my apartment every couple months, which is every like, couple I, months. I guess it's <laughs> it's spring time for every my time fall year. spring cleaning. <laughs> my fourth spring of the year. Uh, and I do that on on my computer and I do it my on my game consoles that's and smart. everything too. Just sort of like pare down my digital libraries. I'm like, look, you're. You're an adult. You're a married man. You have a good job. Adult is in quotes. Well, yeah. I mean, you have a, you have a duck on your T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. uh, I don't think you're gonna go. You're never gonna go back and start, you know, doing all those weird car witch yeah. puzzles in that game. Yeah. Like, play something else. You, I mean, I don't think you're gonna finish it. I, I, so one one idea I had was maybe I should prioritize my playlist by the biggest files. So maybe I should actually just yeah. play Arkham Knight mm. first. Oh, interesting. That's very pragmatic. Then I can delete that. And then go to the next one, which is probably Witcher Three. Get that. I think. Yeah. I think also you've earned. If you, you've played enough of this game that you've earned the ability to watch the ending on YouTube. And usually I say people shouldn't do stuff like that, yeah. but yeah. Just, just do it. And then I mean, do- I, liked, I liked the game. I actually yeah. liked the game and was having fun with it. But I can also only play it at certain times. It's not a, a game I want to play on like a Saturday afternoon. No. When it's like bright and shiny yeah. outside. It has to be like dark. Yep. And, Gloomy. Yeah, yeah. For me to play Batman. Uh, we have a very specific problem here in California 
where uh, there are so many times I want to play a game like that. But it's yeah. a beautiful day. And it's a beautiful day. We or just know. any game. Yeah. Like it's like I actually kind of miss being in New York because it was just miserable for six months a year and I, got, I played so many video games. <laughs> yeah. And now I can't because I'm like, it's too nice out. I have to go outside. I love the thought of like you wintering in Michigan just so you can play video games <laughs> for like six months yeah. out of the year. Or like I put up curtains in the apartment yeah. that make it look like it's raining. Oh, it's horrible out there, honey. We should stay in and play games. <laughs> just one of those from the 90s, the old like, noise with the rain. <laughs> like rain sound effects on a CD player. <laughs> Still coming down four weeks in a row. Your wife's over there with just like a thunder screen, just like waving It's like, that it's like the way Kevin McAllister tricked the, the bandits in Home Alone. There's a party here. It's a cardboard Michael Jordan on a train. <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's check in with the listeners. Hey, listeners. Hi, listeners. Listeners, remember you can always reach us at the email address gamescoop at IGN.com, just like Big Tony Big style. Big Tony dude. style. <laughs> Big Tony Sal writes yeah. in, the Tetris movie yeah. just received a green light to begin production with an $80 million budget. That is. That's $79 million is too many. He mm -hmm. also, we should point out, it's, uh, it's meant to be a, the first in a trilogy. Sure. Yeah. Of course. Do what? you guys have any expectation of how this movie will turn out? So many people are typically yeah. against turning <laughs> gaming properties into movies. <laughs> Let me get yeah. my crystal ball. So my original uh, idea for this topic of discussion would be we would all try to come up with a game that would be even crazier oh. to turn into a movie than Tetris. But after thinking about it for a while, I could not come up with a game that's crazier than Tetris. As Justin points out, a game with no characters and mm -hmm. no story. Yeah. The only one that comes to mind is Pong. But even then, there's yeah. conflict, right? You yeah. Got something even going then, back you're like, I think it's two people playing ping pong. It's a battle right? of good like, and evil. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> But they're both white, so how do you like Or it's it's like it's a it's a relationship saga. <laughs> you know, and they're fighting over a girl. Yeah. There you go. But Tetris. No. There's I mean the, worse than Tetris would be like columns or Dr. Yeah. Robotics. Yeah, like would another be like machine. Clacks. <laughs> yeah. I said kicks. Oh, that's even even Doctor Mario. Would you, you make boxes. Would, would make boxes. Doctor Mario would make more sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More oh, sense. it would make tons of sense. No, Doctor Mario, real life Mario. I feel like Doctor Mario would be like germs. a daytime TV, like telenovela <laughs> sort of, yeah. like real, real mm -hmm. dramatic thing. Um, you, so, sorry, you have cancer. It'd <laughs> 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 be like it's, 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 colored pills in them. <laughs> what's that? What's that movie? Is it Inner Space where they go inside yeah. that man's body? <laughs> uh, Randy oh. Quaid and what's the uh, oh, short? Yeah, yeah, nice. So Doctor Mario would be like that. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, like a little but Tetris. So they say it's supposed to be a sci-fi thriller. Yeah. Which, I don't know, because we've seen like Pixels, right? And before the show, no, we, we haven't seen Pixels. Well, we haven't seen. We've seen Pixels come out. Where it's, it's gonna be like Pixels. Where, where it's gonna be like, I guess they were. I haven't seen it. It's like an alien invasion or something. But the aliens, yeah, the aliens find uh, <laughs> some sort of like they're like reading information from the '80s when they attack now, and they're like they misinterpret. Video game aliens as what we really are, so they like turn themselves into that when they to like infiltrate kind of yeah, thing. That's, that's what they do. Real bad. Yeah, I haven't uh, even seen the movie. I but know. we were talking about like Battleship. In Battleship, their crutch was uh, an alien invasion, and in Pixels it's an alien invasion. I feel like Tetris is going to be a sci-fi thriller about block-shaped aliens attacking Earth. Is it going to end if uh, it, like the heroes win when they figure out if you just line them all up in yeah. a row, they disappear? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just like imagine like there's like it'll never end. It's a there's trilogy. like a, there's a widow standing there in in the, in the street and she's screaming. And crying because like the L shape like killed her husband. Yeah. <laughs> it fell from the sky and yeah. crushed her town. It wouldn't like, be the L shape. It would be one of those shitty Z shapes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are, the L shapes are all right. Nobody likes uh, the Z shapes. No. I, I imagine like one of the big blocks like twirling down the street and someone's like ah and it's coming <laughs> and then it lines up perfectly where the hole is above it. He's like oh thank God and then the, the tall one just lands. On I can't. I mean, for for them to have even. Uh, said that this is something that they're going to do. That means somebody somewhere wrote a sentence that sold yeah. them on this thing. Somewhere. And I cannot, in my wildest imaginations, form that sentence. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, it, there's, there's a lot of weird partnerships going on behind this one. It's co-funded between an American production company and a Chinese production company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's supposed to be... And I know be... that... Well, I think China, if China is, if it's not the world's like largest box office, it's about to become. Yeah. Soon, yeah. And and that's. But I don't know how popular Tetris is in China. Well, I think like it's just one it? of those brand names. It's just like worldwide. Mario. Yeah, Tetris is the best-selling video game of all time by a large margin. By a large margin. Do you I mean, guys ever have those Tetris crackers? What? <laughs> no. They made these. They made these snacks though. in the '80s. It was like it was like a, it was like Cheez Its, but Tetris, <laughs> and there were shapes, and it was like mm. oh. Well, that totally missed the point. Yeah. <laughs> but also, that just means you got less cracker than if they would have just given yeah, you a square. Yeah, it made no sense. 
True. And so you'd get them and you'd like try to fit them together and you'd be like, oh great, I just put my food all over this table. Now that's not fair. Technically with an animal cracker you get less cracker, but I'm glad it's in an animal shape. Sure. That's true. It's more fun. True. Yeah. Tastes better that way. I mean, you guys are assu- did you, you guys are assuming they limbs first? Oh yeah. I always did. You're assuming that they took a, a square and they chiseled it away and turned it into a lion and they <laughs> just took the other stuff and threw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Get that lot non-lion cracker out of here. The rest of this mess out of here. They should make an animal cracker that bleeds. Oh wow. Like when you bite into it. <laughs> it's like just, gushers? Yeah, yeah, like gushers. It's yeah. just full of like grape jelly. <laughs> Wood eat. <laughs> it's horrific. You're biting the heads Maybe, off of all. Peter uh, would love that. <laughs> this movie might finally be my excuse to uh, do our feature ranking the Tetris blocks. That's really good. <laughs> finally, I can explain to the world. Like seven? You shouldn't say these things yeah. out loud because I think it's actually a really good idea. Yeah, you're gonna, people are going to tweet at you to be like, "We're every single day for the rest of your life." I mean, but or the someone, they're going to steal it, or yeah, someone's just going to do it. But yeah. the rankings are obvious. It's like line, b- square. Uh, line L- is number one. L L Z S, right? Oh, oh, but there's that crappy. Which L? There's the crappy. I don't even know what you want to call it. The one with three and then one. Do you want to? Yeah, well, it's a ticket T. Do you want to do this one up at noon tomorrow? No. Come on. Maybe. I'll pull you onto the set. You can, just, you can rank the top seven Tetris box. All right. All right. <laughs> Finally time to yeah, answer this question. Tetris 2 has bombs. Big t- we do have a couple uh, video game movies coming out this year. Yeah. Warcraft yep. mm-hmm. and Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ooh. Who knows how that will turn out. I don't know. You liked the trailer for Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I, that, that, I, thought, I was, that was really so into it until that announcement that it's 65% in the present day. Like, mm-hmm. why did they tell us that? Oh, yeah. he's like, Don't yeah, tell us 70, 30, and, and he's in that dumb... Uh, Animus. Animus. Don't page. tell me what a percentage of a movie really is Animus before though, I is. see it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's the Animus. Oh, yeah. they call it the Animus, yeah. Uh, I mean, they do in the games. I don't know what it is in the movie. Yeah. No, I think they call it the Animus in the movie, but it's it's... Stylized differently. It's yeah. got this big robotic arm that. Yeah, it's real different. Yeah, because watching a man sleep like in bed is boring. <laughs> well, Michael Fassbender is on set. He's just sort of passed out in the yeah. pod. See, he's like, easiest movie I've ever is done. He asleep? <laughs> he's in character. Yeah, the I don't know. Time. Video, video game movies. Generally, I think it's a bad idea. I like. If you ask me, what was the best one? Damon, we're, we're going to make one of two movies: either a movie based on a video game or something new. Mm-hmm. I'm always going to say, make the new, make the new make thing. Something new. What about <laughs> make something new. Godzilla. Make the new thing. It's not based on a video game. But it's not. But if, but it's Damon, not we're going to make a movie based on a video game or another Godzilla movie. <laughs> <laughs> make the Godzilla movie. I like the scenario in which they're like, oh, we got to make a decision. On this. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get Damon on the. They call me into the boardroom. Yeah. <laughs> They've been up all night. Yep. <laughs> Damon. Help. Uh, all right, it's time on GameSwip when we play Video Game 20 Questions. Mm. This week's suggestion comes from Milo. Tetris. <laughs> it is not Tetris. Yeah. You Brandon, I, have you played this on the show before? Uh, yeah, twice. I think, actually, okay. I've played three times. I'm two for three. Two for three. Not okay. bad. Do you play as a human? Yes. <clears throat> I, uh, I think so. There may be <laughs> a choice, but I, I think it's the gray area. Okay. I think um, so. it's just well, the worst. <laughs> what were the standard ones that we always get out the of the standard ones are always like, uh, before, did it come out before yeah. t- 2000? Um, that's, the, that's usually the first one, yeah. Yeah, before I mucked it up. Did it, did it come out before 2000? No. Cool. So it's after 2000. And you maybe play as a human. Black and white. Um, <laughs> is it a console game? Yes. Okay. Uh, does your character... Uh, <laughs> Do you hold do you hold objects in your hands? Yes. <laughs> That's just such a weird question. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a mustache? <laughs> Are there uh, shoes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your character holds objects. Uh, what game don't you? I don't know. Uh, all kinds of games. Connectables. What's an what's Give me an example of a game where you play a human, but you don't <laughs> hold anything in your hands. Mario? He holds stuff. He holds no, he doesn't. He holds, he holds a hammer. He, he holds doesn't. a hammer. Okay. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> and vegetables and uh, no, he doesn't flour. Hold he doesn't hold anything. He picks up things. blocks. He picks up bombs. He, he does holds the turtles. Too. He holds the turtles over his head. Yeah, yeah. so I'm not going to let Hundreds this stuff of fly. Things. I'm not going to. He does not pick up blocks. He yes, does. he does. When? You can pick up ice blocks. too. That didn't come out after 2000. Oh, what are you talking about? It. it did happen. You can pick up ice blocks in uh, in the Mario games. Ooh. You can also pick up Turtles. other characters Turtles. that are playing with you That's true. who can pick up you. <laughs> That's true. I'm still waiting for a game where you play as a human, but you don't <laughs> hold anything in your hand. Uh, <laughs> like a gun? I feel like this is a more important question. Yeah. 
Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Is okay. it? Uh, it uh, might not have been great. <laughs> so we all, you're a human that you, you hold know stuff in your it hands comes after out 2000. after 2000. Yeah. You're probably human, and you hold things in your hands. Are there <laughs> legs? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just on this earth. <laughs> uh, we know it's it, consequential. We should narrow it down, though. Yeah, yeah, is it a okay. PlayStation game? Like, was exclusively, it, or did it come to a PlayStation? Oh wait, no. Console? Do we already? Yeah. We know it's a console. Right? I know because if it's multi-platform, it's kind of thrown away. Of do we know it's a multi-platform? No. We do not. Is it multi-platform? Yes. Damn sure. it. Five <laughs> questions. Did it come out for the current console generation? No. Um, should we narrow it down to the seventh or the seventh generation? Was that PS3, Xbox? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was 2005, but there was another generation before that, right? <clears throat> I mean, whichever. Yeah, we should narrow down the generation. <laughs> uh, did it come out the seventh generation, 360, PS2? PS3. Uh, sorry, PS3. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, go ahead. Um, did we get genre at all? We did not yet. We have not. <laughs> but you can hold and you can Holding hold. stuff in your hands, genre. Yeah. It's like uh, genre. Do we know perspective? You, you don't, don't hold things in Super Meat Boy. You're not a human. You're though. not a human. You're a meat boy. Well, it has the word boy. But you said there was another know. option, right? Not just human. <clears throat> More than We're human. We're talking about a game where you play as a human, but you don't hold anything in your hands. Is it first person? No. Okay. So it's uh, a third person and sort of game where yeah, you Yeah, but it might be. Is it 2D? No. Okay, so 3D where you play as a human and you can hold things in your hands. Mm -hmm. In the third person. In the third person. In the third person. On the PS3 360 generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also Wii. We probably don't need to bring up the hand holding thing anymore in our <laughs> recaps. Really? I was thinking of doing it each time. <laughs> hey, top 10 best things to hold in your hands. <laughs> another hand. Uh, number one is a good one. Ooh. Another one's another hand, yeah. Uh, uh, so we don't have a genre yet, right? But it is third person, so <clears throat> action. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty safe to say it's either an action game or a platform. Do you hold a gun in your hands? <clears throat> no. Oh. Question number 10 is no. Okay. Is it a platforming game? No. Man can't jump. Why? He might be able to jump. <laughs> oh, we got, were you on the game, were you on Scoop where he asked about jumping and then it really tripped Damon up because it was Zelda? Oh. That was oh, really good. Because you can kind of. You yeah. can jump, but there's no jump button. Yeah. In, in 3D Zeldas. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah, it was really good. How many questions are we in 10? You've done 11. Damn it. So we know it's a third person game for the PS3 uh, 360 generation where you don't hold a gun. You don't shoot anything. But you do hold things in your hands. <laughs> Starring a human esque character? You, is it, so it could be like Metal Gear Rising <clears throat> or something like that? Dark Souls. Could be Dark Souls. So, okay, yeah. So do you hold. I think a, you play as a human in Dark Souls. Yeah, but you're also a hollow, so it's yeah. kind of a gray area. Mm. Do, you hold a, do you hold like a sword or slicing weapon in your hand? Yes. Okay. Okay. Who are the silly billies now? <laughs> <laughs> we burned three questions to figure out you can hold a sword. Uh, so an elf that totally narrows it way down. An elf is human-ish. What are you talking about? What, I'm trying to figure elf. out what kind of. It's a third-person game. There's no jumping. Okay. Uh, we don't know. There's no jumping. You said it's not a platforming game, and you jump to there's no jumping. Is it? Is it a cooperative game? Ooh. No. Okay. So that's not, I do like that's I like narrowing Gauntlet it Legends. down between I like narrowing it down between like RPG or action because that narrows it down between like like I do think it's like Metal Gear Rising or Dark Souls or something along those lines. Okay. okay. Do you want to narrow it down? I mean, how we're do you, at thirteen. Mm -hmm. How what's how would you like? Well, you would characterize Dark Souls as an RPG, right? I would characterize it as an RPG, but also an action game. I would characterize it as an action RPG. Yeah. So how do we how do we narrow it down further? Um, does, does one does, it, does <clears throat> there's no stats in Metal Gear Rising? Is it rated M? I haven't played Metal Gear Rising. Mm, I don't know. Free so it's beer. not Dark Souls because he would have said yes immediately. Damn it. <laughs> Technicality. So there you guys go with that. <laughs> Nailed it. You're welcome. <laughs> Silly billies. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, I should have looked up the rating of the game. What, what game? What are more games? Just tell you, me. I'll look it up. What are more games where you sword things? <laughs> where you sword things in a third person using your hands. That are multi-platform. That are yeah. multi-platform on 360 or PS3. Is this game part of a part of a series or franchise? No. Okay, so it's not Ooh. Dante's Inferno. It's not. Yeah, not Metal Gear. Not Metal Gear. It's a one-off. Wow. Yeah, it's a one-off that came to multi-platforms where you use a sword and then it never showed up again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Dark. Oh, but Dark you don't. Play, you don't play as a human, and it got a sequel. Oh right. Dark Siders. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> should we talk about aesthetic? Like. Yeah, that that would help. 
Um, I mean, yeah, or developer. Is is it a uh, fantasy? Right. Is it a fantasy game? Yes. Ooh, okay. that's good. That was really good. It's not a Lord of the Rings game, <laughs> that's for sure. Fifteen. Five questions to go. Man. Okay. Third person, you can use a choppy stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, no you're, guns. You're Force human. Awakens. Do you, is this a, is this a licensed game? Nope. Not Force Awakens. Force Unleashed. No, it's part of a. But franchise. it's part of a series. Yeah. So it's not a licensed game. That might have been a burned question. Sorry, since we know it's a fantasy game. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, what was uh like Kingdoms of Amalur? That's Ooh. good. Not a sequel. You play, fantasy yeah. game. You play as a That's human. Good. There are other races that you can play as. That was Kurt Schilling, right? That was Kurt Schilling and Thirty Eight Studios. Did Kurt Schilling uh, have a did, did, did he muck this game up? <laughs> yes. Was this, yeah. game, was this game made by a baseball player? <laughs> Wow, I didn't think you were going to get Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Wow. I was, I was not Easy sure done. you were actually going to get think there. I, I mean, I played the hell out of the game. I don't think I would have gotten it. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, developed by 38 Studios. So you asked if it was like a part of the series, and it was planned yeah, to be. Yeah, they were going to have a, an MMO. A whole like, yeah. world, yeah. But, and then, and then you're right down. in that I don't remember the rating on that game either. But I would guess teen, but yeah. I think didn't, it played, I think it so was I don't, teen. I don't... Remember Didn't any sure. gore, blood, or anything? God, that was a good one, man. We yeah. did it. That was nice. Published by EA. Yep. Uh, PS3, 360, and PC. And PC. Who sent that question in? Milo. Nice job, Milo. Good work, Milo. 2012. You almost had us. Single oh. player action RPG. Yeah. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. So good about so that. long ago. I'm still trying to think of a game and where you don't hold stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to know. Yeah. It, uh, maybe maybe a game where it's all like magic based. Karate. Casting spells. Karate champ. Yep. Yeah. But Kar- even that, karate, maybe they- karate champ for the NES. Yeah, yeah like a fighting you're right. game. You're right. It's just come, just karate in that game. No, no weapons. What if you Sup- do like a headlock? You hold a guy. Yeah. Super, count? super punch out. You're you holding need. some fists, but that's you're, wearing, you're wearing gloves. Yeah, we're not holding. You hold up the belt. If you're wearing gloves, you're yeah, you hold the belt. Gloves. You're well, you're holding, holding the title. Yeah, hold up the title. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. that's technically holding. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm Remind will- us all what happened with. 38 Studios and Rhode Island and but, why that studio went under. I think, uh, okay, I might be wrong, so feel free to correct, but I think Rhode Island bought into 38 Studios. Yeah, like, and then they were subsidized like, the yeah, development. Yeah, they had a grant. It was, they paid them a bunch of money mm-hmm. and then uh, 38 missed all their milestones. And, and defaulted and, on yeah, the loan. But that'll happen loan. before the game even came out, right? Yeah. Like the I think it was like right, well, mm-hmm. like the game came out and didn't sell what they needed it to, yeah. and that was like the final nail in. Like if the game sold like 8 million copies or whatever, they probably would have been okay. Yeah. So it wasn't like, EA like picked up the game and published it after the fact. I'm I just to remember it, I, it's fuzzy to me too. I, my memory it's only four years ago. Like yeah, the game, really? the game came out God. and it was great. And it's just weird to say, well, we made a great game and yeah. still yeah. get it's, shut it's, down and sued. Yeah, yep. it's an amazing game, but it didn't sell. And I don't think I also it, the impression I got is that it was a little bit yeah. mismanaged, and they just had a team of hundreds and hundreds working on it, yeah. and the budget ballooned to a level where it almost didn't matter what it sold. It was just never going to be able to recoup. I mean, they had the, 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 the yeah. that this prolific fantasy author. It was um, yeah, and they hired all that money from uh, yeah. They they had the, the author the and the artist. Yeah. Um, uh, Tom McFarlane? Yeah, Tom McFarlane ha- brought on to consult on art, and I think R.A. Salvatore. R.A. Salvatore. R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein. It was R.L. Stein. Yeah. With the, the top 10 spooks in Spookville. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the box said, This game will give you goosebumps. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Stole it. All right, that's all the scoops we have for this week. If you're just uh, one of our podcast listeners, you should uh, come by the new YouTube channel sometime and just check out what we're making over there. Because in addition to the podcast, uh, the full podcast each week, we've been doing Let's Play videos. Let us play videos of reaching games like Super Hot or In the Blind Forest and fun stuff like that. Where can people find that YouTube channel? YouTube.com slash GameScoop. Mm-hmm. Nice. See you there. But thank you, Justin. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Brian. My name is Damon. This is IGN GameScoop, and we're out.